Hey guys, welcome to my 39 week update. I am like less than a week away while well, filming this. I'm less than a week away from my due date. Time is flying by. This baby could be here literally any minute, any day. It's crazy right now. This possibly could be my last update. However, I think I will make it one more update to um, 40 weeks just because he seems very comfy where he is. This week, baby is the size of a mini watermelon. He's also the size of a American short haired cat. So like my cat Felix, he's basically the size of my cat. He's also the size of a mini skateboard. I don't really know what a mini skateboard is, but <laughs> apparently that's what he is the size of. This week with Baby, again, not much is really happening. He is shedding his Vernix Vercosa, I think is what it's called, which is basically like the coating that protects his skin from getting all pruney from being in fluid for the past nine months. <laughs> By now, he um, knows my voice and can recognize my voice, which I would hope so. <laughs> and also, his brain is continuing to develop. Of course, brains continue to develop after birth as well, but it is still developing while he is continuing to grow inside of me. So at 39 weeks, I am getting towards the end of my limit. My back still really hurts. My rib area still really hurts. Although, so my rib area used to hurt a lot. And then I think it's because I like pulled a muscle right around there because I was like trying to hoist myself up. Long story. Anyway, it definitely feels better. And it also feels better if I put my um, stretch mark lotion on it every morning. And so I'm wondering if a big part of the pain from it was just like my skin stretching, like from the belly pulling it down and just from like my belly expanding. So maybe that was the cause of it. It definitely feels better, um, but it still hurts here and there. And my back, um, I've been doing a lot of work lately. We just got pictures done um, to get our house ready to sell. So I've been pushing myself a lot lately and so um, usually in the afternoons and evenings I just need to like lay down on my side because my back hurts so bad. I have been having a really, really, really hard time sleeping lately. It's getting worse and worse. Um, I get up several times a night to pee, which is a given, um, but I am finding it harder and harder to get comfy, to go back to sleep and to stay asleep. Um, the other night I woke up at 3.30 in the morning and didn't go back to sleep until like 6.30. I just laid in bed, tossing and turning. I just couldn't, I couldn't shut my mind off. I feel like that was my biggest problem was I had so much on my mind I just couldn't stop thinking. So um, I'm very exhausted every day. It's, it's a struggle. Baby is um, still moving a lot. I feel like his movements aren't as powerful because he's just running out of room, but he still does move a lot, especially in the evenings. He's moving right now, actually. Um, and he still gets hiccups like crazy. All the time he gets hiccups, which somebody was saying that it's bad if babies get hiccups this late in pregnancy because it's something about like the cord being wrapped around their neck, but I've never heard that before. I think that's just a myth. I think getting hiccups this late in pregnancy is a totally fine. Grayson did that when he was this far along and he came out just fine. So I'm not worried about that. <laughs> I have been having a lot of hot flashes lately. I'm not sure if that's like a pregnancy thing, I would assume so, but I will be working on something. I will just get so, so hot. I find myself being freezing in the morning when I first wake up, so I turn the AC back down. And then during the day while I'm like running around trying to get things done, I'm getting so hot that I'm ending up turning the AC back on like I'm so hot. So it like comes and goes. It's really weird. I've been feeling Braxton Hicks here, here and there, but not that much. I thought I'd get them more with like how much I've been doing around the house, but it actually hasn't been that bad. Um, I, I do feel cramping here and there, especially like in the middle of the night when I have to pee and stuff and I think it's just like my bladder is really full and then I relieve myself and then it's just like crampiness from like it going back down. 
Um, so like no contractions or anything like that. I will give you a belly shot so you can see my belly at 39 weeks. Okay, so here is my belly. This is not a maternity shirt and so it is a stretch to actually wear it, but I was just like, it's cute, I want to wear it today. But anyway, here is my belly. Not really going to get any bigger. <laughs> I weighed myself the other day and I'm still coming in at like 148, 149. I have not hit 150 yet, which I know with Grayson I did hit the 150s. I'm not sure how high I got, but I definitely feel like I gained more weight with him than with this pregnancy. Um, so I think my weight gain is around uh, 24 pounds, 25 pounds I think that I've gained so far. I'll have to reweigh myself and give you an update next week, but yeah, so I'm really happy with the weight gain, especially because I'm still craving sweets like crazy, so I have ice cream like almost every night, and um, I'll go to the store and just get like a box of donuts and eat them throughout the week, so it's, yeah, it's really bad. I'm having a hard time finding like snacks that I really want to eat, like I'll be kind of hungry in between meals. Which is kind of a change because I used to not want any snacks, but lately I've been wanting snacks, but I haven't been able to find anything that like I want to eat. Like I'll have an apple, but I feel like it doesn't fill me up. And like I used to really like grits crackers, but now I'm kind of like getting off of that. And I don't know, I'm just having a hard time finding something to like munch on during the day. I will tell you about my 39 week doctor's appointment. So I went to my appointment. I was running late again. I keep running late to these things. But I went and they checked my temperature. I was fine. I went and left a sample. They caught me before I went back to the um, waiting room. They took my weight, which I think there I was like, like at 151 or something. And they took my blood pressure, which I was kind of nervous about because I was like rushing to get there. I was late and so I was stressed and I didn't want my blood pressure to be high. So I took my blood pressure and it actually turned out really great again. It was like 114 over 67 or something, I think. It was an awesome um, blood pressure. I was, I'm just, every time I'm just so shocked that my blood pressure's been doing so good. So they were very happy with that. Um, they asked me if I wanted to get a flu shot. They must have just gotten them in because they haven't asked me before this appointment if I wanted a flu shot. And originally I was like, yes, I'm fine with that. And then I thought about it and I asked the nurse, I was like, I want a flu shot, but just so you know, like back in January, I got the last flu shot and it was the same pregnancy. So like, is it okay to get two different flu shots for the same pregnancy? And the nurse was like, I actually don't know the answer to your question. So she told me she would talk to my doctor and get back to me. So they took me to the room. I got um, undressed because we were going to check me um, from the waist down. And so I waited and then my doctor came in. She talked to me about the flu shot. She told me um, there's no harm to getting another flu shot and that it's a good idea, especially with this crazy coronavirus and of course infants have like no immune system right off the bat so it's good to get yourself protected and then she said if you can keep the baby in for another week it takes about a week for antibodies from the flu shot to cross over into the placenta to the baby so hopefully he stays in for a week <laughs> so he could absorb those flu shot antibodies. She told me it was totally fine to get it, so I was fine with that. She measured my belly and I was measuring on track, which is good. We found the heartbeat, which was funny because usually she finds the heartbeat on the left side of my belly, but today he was on the right side, so he must have switched. Um, but he, it was like 147, 146, like it was a good heartbeat. He was kicking <laughs> while she was looking for the heartbeat. And then she checked me and I was pretty sure I was going to be zero again. Like I didn't feel like I felt a lot of change. I didn't feel like I was, had a lot of breast and hicks. I have been like walking a lot and like doing a lot of work around the house, but I didn't know if that would really affect anything. So she did check me and she said I'm actually one and a half centimeters dilated and she said my cervix was thin. I don't know if thin means like I haven't like been effacing at all or not. But I am at least one and a half centimeters. So two weeks ago I was zero and not even anything. And now I'm one and a half and thinned. So 
that is good to know. At least there's some progress being made. Um, I was really nervous that I was going to be, like, really, like, a lot further um, dilated, like three or four, and then she was going to be like, we need to, you know, talk more about inducing sooner rather than later, but since I'm still only one and a half, she was like, it's really up to you, I'm fine with either way, if you are done with this pregnancy and you want to induce now, we can set up a date, or if you want, we can wait it out another week and make one more appointment and then go from there. So I thought about it and I decided I wanted to make one more appointment and just make it to 40 weeks and then make a decision from there. I am, I mean, yes, I'm in pain from being pregnant and yes, I can't wait to meet my baby, but I still want to make sure that my body is ready to go into labor. I don't want to force my body to do it. If it's not ready, I don't want to risk like a c-section or any other complications so if I can hold on to this baby for longer then I will do it. So she was totally fine with that so we agreed that we would do one more appointment for my 40 week. You know, it's the day before my due date is when the appointment is. I made it for you know next week and she'll check me one more time and then I think at that appointment we will go ahead and set up an induction date if I don't go on my own before then. This is what happened with Grayson. I went to 40 weeks and then we had to make an induction date and I was induced like the day I turned 41 weeks because she didn't want me going that far, which I totally understand. Like if you go past, if you go much past like 41 weeks, then the placenta starts to deteriorate and it just could bring harm for the baby. It's just not good. Totally get it. So I felt good coming out of that appointment. That's really the, um, that's the result I was hoping for, so I'm really happy with how it went, um, and my doctor was happy with all of my stats, and she said everything was looking great, so she was comfortable with going another week as well. There's a bunch of dates that I'm really trying to avoid having this baby on, which, I don't know, is that picky? Is that kind of funny? Um, I don't want to have him on my due date, which is September 9th, because my brother's fiance's birthday is on that day and I'd rather just have him on his own day I guess um, and then the next day September 10th is Anthony's dad's birthday so again I'd rather have like not have him share and then the next day after that is September 11th which is kind of funky like I don't know I feel like it's just a day of like sorrow and sadness and it's kind of hard to like celebrate a birthday on the 11th. Also, Grayson was born on the 11th. He was born on April 11th, so I would like a different day <laughs> for this baby. Um, and then after the 11th, the 11th is on a Friday, and then the 12th is a Saturday, so I don't know like if we can induce on the weekend or maybe we have to wait until that Monday after like the 14th and pick that day. So it'll be interesting to see like what options we have, I guess. Um, I definitely want to be induced in the morning instead of at night. For my first pregnancy, I went in at 9 p.m. at night to be induced and basically like labored all night and then had Grayson the next morning. And I hated that. <laughs> I think night inductions work for some people, but for me it was terrible. I didn't get any sleep that night. Anthony didn't get any sleep that night. I feel like I didn't even get to like experience labor because I was just trying to like sleep the whole time and then by the time like I woke up like it was time to push so I'd rather like be awake and have energy <laughs> during the induction so if I can I'm gonna ask for a morning induction time instead of an evening one but yeah so definitely stay tuned for my last doctor's appointment because we will be making that induction date and I will let you guys know if I don't go into labor on my own what baby's birthday will probably be unless I have like a super long labor and then he'd be born the next day but I don't think that's gonna happen I was in labor for 12 hours with Grayson and they say your second pregnancy you basically cut that in half so if it's if I had 12 hours with Grayson then I should only be in labor for six hours for this pregnancy now that's not saying that's for sure what's gonna happen but usually that's what happens so it should go fast but we'll see but anyway it was a good appointment I felt really happy about it and I made it 39 weeks and I was really proud of myself and it sounds like I'm gonna be making it to 40 weeks <laughs> I am basically almost done with 
everything on my list to get ready for baby. I have installed the baby car seat in my car. I went and bought snacks and candy for the hospital. I basically packed, packed the hospital bag except for like last minute things and then Anthony needs to put his clothes into it. But other than that, like it's basically ready to go. Um, I've told like all of my siblings who live in town, like watch out if I go into labor, I'm gonna be texting all of you or calling all of you to see who can watch Grayson for me while we go to the hospital. We know where the hospital is. We've been there for Grayson. Uh, we know where labor and delivery is. So I'm feeling like I'm ready for this baby. So it's like super exciting. Uh, there's a couple things I still want to do. Um, we need to put the bassinet up in our room. I was waiting until we got pictures done of our house because um, I didn't want to have to bring it up and then take it down and then put it back. So now that the pictures are done, we can bring that up and have that ready to go. And then also I want to put the pack and play downstairs in our living room so that way if I ever need to put the baby down for a couple seconds and run and do something, I can know that he's protected in the pack and play and so just like putting him on the floor or the couch or whatever. So um, that's another thing I want to do. But other than that, I'm feeling pretty prepared for baby to come. I've gotten Grayson's um, big brother gift all ready to go. I have the godparent gift all ready to go. Like I'm feeling really good about all that. I also wanted to say, I keep forgetting to mention that my doctor did tell me that I tested negative for group B strep. I, it keeps leaving my mind and I wanted to let you guys know. Um, they said I tested negative, which I figured I would be. I was negative for Grayson, but you just never know. So that was good to know. I don't have to worry about getting antibiotics and so I think that's it for 39 weeks. Make sure you check back next week for my 40 week update. It'll probably be my last update because um, I don't see myself going to 41 weeks. I'm sure we'll induce before then if we need to induce. So be on the lookout for that. Thank you guys for tuning in every week and watching these videos. I hope this helps you in your pregnancy journey or um, if you're just curious about what each week is like, I hope you have enjoyed these videos. So make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!